Hello and welcome to DerekPark.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the concept of sidejacking with Ferret and Hamster to gain access into Gmail accounts. First, let's go ahead and launch Wireshark to capture packets on wire. Once the capturing process has been started, we'll move over to my other computer and sign into Gmail using Hamster Test Account. And successfully signed into Gmail. Let's go ahead and move back into the VMware. And let's go ahead and stop the capturing process on Wireshark. Let's go ahead and save this file. We'll give it a name test.pcap. And we'll be saving into pen test exploits hamster bin directory. Once the file has been saved, let's go ahead and launch console. And from the console, we'll go ahead and change the directory. And we'll go ahead and change to pen test exploits hamster bin directory. Let's go ahead and list it. And there's test.pcat, which we saved earlier using Wireshark. Let's go ahead and start ferret dot slash ferret space dash r space test.pcap. This process loads all the cookies that we've captured and start hamster dot slash hamster and it's using port 1234 and it's using the loopback address of 127.0.0.1 on port 1234 and let's go ahead and launch Firefox. Once the Firefox has been started, we need to go in and manually configure the proxy setting for edit preferences. From the network tab, let's go ahead and select settings. The proxy should be set to the loopback address using port 1234. And on the address bar, we'll type in hamster. Once you land on this page, let's scroll down and there should be an IP address and it captured hamster test gmail.com cookies. On the left column, those are all the cookies we've captured. The second one, we'll click on Gmail and it should load the Gmail account for hamster test. And there we go. We gain access into Gmail account using ferret and hamster on back track four. For additional tutorials, please visit me at www.derekpark.com.